Again, players sliding in. Now Alsop taking up a position down the left flank. Alsop checks inside, does well. Trying to open up an angle to shoot. Opens up the angle. Opens up the goal. Melbourne victory. The crowd is stunned. And the victory have gone 1-0 up. Melts, goal scorer. That one's too short. Kemp. Kemp, great ball from Kemp. Chance again for victory. And the victory have gone 2-1 up. And again, it's Danny Alsop. His second of the evening. Too easy. Hey, good signs for Ernie Merrick. As Fabiano goes round, delivers the ball in. And could this be three? Yes, it is. And again, the Phoenix caught napping straight after half time. And Nate Fabiano opens his account for the victory. 3 1, the victory lead. Up against Glenn Moss. Musket. He too puts the ball in the back of the net and restores the two goal cushion for Melbourne victory. This is Kemp. Square for Seleski. Back to Lopez. This Costa Rican teammate, Carlos Hernandez. Lopez has been called up to the Costa Rican World Cup squad. Hernandez hasn't. Here is Hernandez! Maybe he should have been called up. What a super finish by Carlos Hernandez. A goal has been coming. It was just a question as for which team. And it's Melbourne. And defensively, Jay North last week had a couple of moments in the first half. That's poor from Kovic. That's another mistake. They're creeping in. Here's Thompson! And Archie Thompson does make the Jets pay. Gary Van Egmont will be furious. Also almost getting Nay Fabiano away. That was a good challenge by Jade North. Oh, and then he gives the ball away. Too casual. Thompson. This could seal it for Melbourne. Archie Thompson! And taps it at the far post by Danny Olsop. He has 100 career goals, and Melbourne surely now have the win. Still 27 minutes to go. Melbourne go for more. Allsop's in again. Danny Allsop! It's a second for Allsop. It's a fourth for Melbourne. It's turning into a horror night for the champions. Great performance from Carlos Hernandez really did dictate the tempo of the game, particularly after Archie Thompson came on. He scored that opening goal after he given numerous occasions to his teammates. Good performance. Bravo, Carlos. There's a chance for another one. It's in! What about that? A first touch of the football for Grant Brebner, and it is five for Melbourne. That's what you call another inspired substitution by Ernie Merrick. Eugene Galekovic, former teammate, tries to stop him. Kevin Musket, Galekovic makes the save, but Musket on the follow-up. Well, the perfect penalty record, he's gone, but he still gives Melbourne the lead. Petrovsky looking for Caceres, cut out by Vargas, and Hernandez is onside. In behind Boic. He's got Allsop in the middle, rolls it to Thompson. Archie Thompson should make it 1-1 and does. Another goal feast on the cards here at Blue Tongue. Two we... goals in the opening 15 minutes. The header again by Wilkinson. Crowd crying out for the whistle. Thompson goes to ground. No penalty. Bosnich comes across. Wilkinson was aware that he'd got a touch and didn't want any indirect free kick coming his way. He says, I'll clear the danger if you don't mind. Offside flag. Is it going to go up? Well, it stayed down. Bremner, a chance right at the death. Thompson, yeah! unbelievable. Ten men Melbourne with just four seconds on the clock. Make it 2-2. Archie Thompson past a forlorn Mark Bosnich. I think it is possible that people can go to ground and there's not necessarily a foul or simulation. Here's Kemp. In the game of football. Yes, yes. 
Seleski. Gets it back from Podiak. He's in space here, Seleski. Thompson. The turn and shot. Breaks nicely for Brebner, who strokes it into the bottom of the goal. And the victory take the lead. No surprise there. Brebner. Thompson has to backtrack. McLaren, poor first touch. Now breaks for Pontiac. Allsop, you're into the first save, but not the second. And Danny Allsop doubles the lead for the victory. It's all too easy. Berger. Great delivery. The killer goal from Melbourne. And Roddy Vargas is claiming it. That is the final nail in Perth Glory's... Rukovica. Well, Nicky Rizzo's been waiting an eternity to get on the field. Play through Allsop, Allsop! Danny Allsop adds his... Second goal of the game, Melbourne victory's fourth goal of the game. Well, this fixture is just pure theatre. And here's Kevin Muscat, who scores. Well, he always does, doesn't he? <laughs> and on Halloween spot. night, Adelaide's bogeyman comes back to haunt them again. It's one all. Muscat, the man, the metronome from the penalty spots. Ties it up again at 2 2. We shall see in a moment or two. Now, palmed out by Birigiti, chance for a winner. And somehow Adelaide survives, still in there. Tuleski and Melbourne have the lead. Incredible. 3 2. Billy Tuleski. Tuleski's corner, there is the opening goal, who else? Archie Thompson, who loves scoring against Queensland and loves scoring in Brisbane, has done it again. Given away by McAllister. Here's Thompson using Pondelyak. Tommy Pondelyak equalises against his former club. They're back level, the table toppers. We approach the hour mark, Laurie McKinnon, not far away from using his first substitution. Archie Thompson, this time he's onside. Thompson against Vukovic, buries it. Archie Thompson just loves playing against the Mariners, and now he gives the victory the lead. 2 on up. And the other players prepared to attack the ball. Sliski again, this time to the back post again, high. And in, Nate Fabiano was in there. I think it was Danny Alsop who got the final touch. But they've been threatening for the last few minutes. And eventually the dam. McCoy finds the way blocked by Brebner. Nate Fabiano. Support offered by Lopez, it breaks for Ney Fabiano! 2-1! Melbourne back in the game! Ooh. This is Song Jin Hyuk, and again there's space for Matt Thompson. Sure, he couldn't get four goals tonight. He's held up on this occasion by Thwaite. Now it's Hernandez. Also, always willing. Bounced off his arm. Oh, and a great shot and a fantastic finish by Danny Alsop. A real suggestion of handball against the Melbourne striker in the build-up. But Craig Zetter allows the goal to stand and the victory have a consolation. Free kick taken quickly and it's into the back of the net off Ney Fabiano. And the deficits 
is reduced by one. He should have scored earlier. He has scored now, Nay Fabiano. Kick for Melbourne victory. To be taken by Hernandez. Played short. Thompson hasn't been picked up. And Archie Thompson execs a full price for Sydney FC's sloppy defending the victory. Looks as though he'll be OK. And stretching, as if to suggest that he picked up some sort of cramp. Here come the victory. Plays in Archie Thompson, who created the space for himself rather easily. Musket again goes deep. All stop across the face of goal. Trina not made any changes as yet, but I could tell you Taj Minikon is going through some loosening up exercises on the sidelines as Mackay loses out. This is Hernandez. Thompson to his right, Olsop left. Thompson's ball in! Danny Olsop! Goal, Melbourne victory! Again, it will be Billy Seleski. Will this be a better one? It's not a bad one! And it's in by Rodrigo Vargas! Melbourne have a two-goal cushion, and that might be enough. They've dealt with them pretty well so far, Adelaide. Seleski's ball in, free header, and it's a goal by Nicky Ward. For once, Adelaide didn't mark up, and Nicky Ward profits, and the Melbourne fans are in raptures. Hernandez won the header. Thompson releasing Allsop. Danny Allsop through on Petkovic. Danny Allsop tucks it away. The victory have a lead inside three minutes here. Danny Allsop with his first goal at Members Equity Stadium. Roddy Vargas is at the back post. Eugene Daddy comes back to man up on Musket. Good delivery. Petkovic will he fumble? Jason Petkovic, it's an unfortunate moment in his farewell game. And Nay Fabiano off the bench at half time has levelled it again here. We'll be hoping, of course, that they'll be celebrating some silverware, but there's a bit of work to do before they can even get back on top of the table. At the moment, the happiest club around will be Adelaide United. Here's Thompson, maybe not for long. Archie Thompson attacked him by Danny Olsop. Finally, the goal has come. And that goal worth its weight in goal for the victory, scored by Danny Olsop, his 11th of the campaign. Hernandez! El Zorro with a rapier thrust through the wall, through the heart of the Mariners' defence. And that should surely see Melbourne back on top of the table. Well, he's absolutely seething. Now, Thompson in. This could seal it. Archie Thompson. Three goals, three points for Melbourne victory. And only Archie Thompson's second goal in seven games. Ernie Merrick said he'd be amazed if he didn't score tonight. He has scored. The professor of the penalty kick gets top marks again from the spot. And Melbourne lead. Final minute of normal time, Nate Fabiano's header, Archie Thompson in behind, this could finish it, Archie Thompson sends Melbourne back to the top of the table, his first ever goal against the Wellington Phoenix, and after a tense 45 minutes, the relief is audible all around the dome. Wonderful calm defending, Billy Seleski brought that ball down, Hernandez is onside against Falcatus, Carlos Hernandez! 
Was it over the line? It doesn't matter because Danny also, right in front of the travelling fans, gives them the lead. They've got the away goal already. A wrestle between Allsop and Ognanovsky. Allsop's away. He's got Thompson unmarked, but he didn't need him. Danny Allsop makes it 2-0 to the visitors. That is a very handy lead to take back to the Telstra Dome. Turned it over to Kemp. Here's space for Hernandez. Thompson, no flag. Archie Thompson! Melbourne take the lead here at the Telstra Dome. And surely that's enough to go through to the grand final. This Podolyak working with Hernandez. Hit of a handball there by Ogdenovsky. Ward, wide right. Chance here for Melbourne. Buried by Carlos Hernandez. Back from World Cup duty, scores in the A-League. Melbourne victory, doing it easy. Like taking baby from a candy. He'll have a lot on his plate in that dressing room at halftime. Hernandez slides it through. Alsop is onside. Danny Alsop, 3-0 Melbourne. It's a rout. Turn home to... Try and rejuvenate his career. Much the same way that Scott Jamison did at the start of this season. And hasn't that worked out well? And then it's with the ball to the back post. And it's Tommy Ponoliak, 4-0 Melbourne. Would you believe it? Is Evan Burgess' first real involvement. Was it off the pond on the Yaku drifts it in and it's a goal for Melbourne! The deadlock is broken in the grand final. Tom Pondelyak, seven grand finals, never a goal until now. Well, I'm sure any Merrick was tossing up of who to take off. Nicky Water Pondelyak, he left Pondelyak on. Poliak on the left-hand side drifts in, but I think you have to put this down to a goalkeeping error. I think Galekovic was unsighted and hesitated. It was a long way out. He cuts in off the left flank, bends this to the back post, but Galekovic should be saving that. Little back heel from Berger. Poliak comes in. Lot of, lot of power on the shot. And Eugene Galekovic, the goalkeeper of the year, will be disappointed with that.